Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart provides a set of pre-built machine learning solutions for the most common use cases that can be readily deployed with just a few clicks. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn six things about SageMaker Jumpstart in AWS. Let's get into it. Number one. SageMaker Jumpstart provides foundation models and supports one-click deployment and fine-tuning of more than 150 popular open-source models, such as Transformer, Object Detection, and Image Classification. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Number two, the machine learning solutions are fully customizable and feature the use of AWS CloudFormation and reference architectures so you can accelerate your machine learning life cycle. Giddy up! Number three, SageMaker gives you ownership and control over your content through simple yet powerful tools. It allows you to determine where your content will be stored and secure your content in both transit and at rest. You can also manage your access to AWS services and resources for your users. Howdy, partner! Number four, with SageMaker Jumpstart, data scientists and developers can easily share machine learning artifacts, such as notebooks and models within their organization. Number five, SageMaker Jumpstart does not use customer models, training data, or algorithms to improve its own service. It also does not share customer training and inference data with third parties. Since all data is encrypted and does not leave your VPC, you can trust that your data will remain confidential. That's what I'm talking about. Last but not the least, number six. The service allows you to try out both public and proprietary foundation models and easily customize and integrate them in your generative AI applications. Attention! In summary, Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart provides hundreds of built-in algorithms with pre-trained models that can cover common machine learning tasks, such as data classification, media generation, and sentiment analysis. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time. Ouch.